behind the scenes footage. I'm actually on my way to um, an appointment to have an updated headshot taken for real estate purposes to update my business profile. And I must say that since yesterday I've worked with the kinder um, kindergarten class, my throat is now again feeling itchy again. Um, still feeling kind of like more tired than usual. Don't really feel like I'm all the way there. So I'm just trying to take it easy. I'm going to try to do um, a video today if I can. I want to do potentially a real estate video talking about the National Association of Realtors Lawsuit Settlement and the decisions that have um, been talked about regarding that settlement. There's a lot of misinformation going on in social media as usual and um, a lot of people that are not in the real estate profession has a lot to say about it, especially people that are YouTubers and social media influencers. So I would like to basically do a video talking about how all of this may impact the industry and how business is conducted because I think it makes better sense coming from someone that actually practices real estate than someone that is not even in the real estate industry you all all right so I'm sorry y'all I do need something to eat I should be at my appointment in the next about 20 minutes if that and I will, I'll be getting there early, so I'll have some time to kind of sit back and contemplate. All right, y'all. Signing out. All right, y'all. So I am officially here. I'm going to get out of the car and find the suite that I'm supposed to go to so that we can go ahead and get this taken care of, everyone. I will take this scarf off when I get inside. I did bring a mirror just in case just in case I needed it, but I'm pretty sure as a professional, he will also have a mirror, but I just wanted to have my own just in case. Also, you can use your phone, but you know, it's always something good to have. So, uh-oh, can't lock the keys in the car. So, with that being said, I'm so glad they have that feature, y'all. You know how many times I would have locked the keys inside? It's ridiculous. I remember years ago, <clears throat> I locked my keys in the car with it running because I was heating it up. But y'all, let me show you what it's looking like out here. So basically, this is a little shopping plaza. Okay. We have a bridal store. All right, all of this, we're looking for Sweet K. That's Sally's Aha. So, just walking through here. Excuse the bag, y'all. Excuse. Why do I have to say excuse me? You know why I got this tied around to tame my hair, to keep it down. Because you know what happens when you don't tame your hair, right? Then it'll be all over the place. So, just letting y'all see what I look like before I walk in. Sweet K is what we're looking for, everyone. Sweet K. I don't even know. We'll find out. All right, so I found out we have to go upstairs. So I'm going upstairs, y'all. I have to walk up these steps to get where we have to go. We're here a little bit early. So that is a little early than late, right? Good job. Sometimes I struggle with that. But it's all. Good, so we're going on in. All right, signing up. So we are now leaving out of the studio and we're headed to go get something to eat, everyone. And so the photo shoot didn't take long at all. It um, actually was kind of fast. So we're headed back downstairs. Um, he was very nice, very professional, very friendly. And I look forward to getting my new updated business photo and business cards for my professional profile. I actually like this a little bit better than what I had going on because I wasn't able to kind of show my full professional ensemble because of the fact that I took a photo shoot like in 2019. I think it was 2019. Yes. And I actually took it in 2019, but um, 
I, w I had on a dress, like a fancy dress. And yeah, so, but this is more professional. So I am going to go get something to eat and then my realtor colleague hit me up. She wants me to print some shirts for her. So we're gonna print the shirts. She wants a QR code, so I'm gonna make sure I have heat transfer sheets. Um, and my neighbor wants some hoodies. She hasn't hit me back yet, but I think she wanted four hoodies. She only gave me three, but I already ordered a fourth one just in case she wants it. But I have to go pick up the ink and then I will be ready to go. All right, y'all, we're headed out. And I'll try to get some footage for y'all, do some uh, a real estate video on my other channel. And maybe we'll do a Brown Girls are Beautiful video later on today we'll see all right y'all signing on out and i'll talk to y'all later all right so for those of you who are not familiar with show mars i'm going to show you show mars and they actually serve fish and oh let's park right here um i didn't know we could park right here it's pretty close so they actually serve y'all they serve fish and um like what's that thing like a greek some type of greek sandwich i can't think of the name of it but it's it's meatless um so i will probably order some fish i'm thinking fish because that's gonna last a while if i order the fish and you can get hush puppies fries sides veggies uh baked potatoes um i think they have salads stuff like that so i'm gonna go ahead on in here y'all and um order my food and then we might eat a little bit of it and then I might head to the park because the park is like literally three minutes from here and I want to shoot a quick video we are 20 minutes away from where the ink is located that I need to pick up and then I need to oh my realtor colleague needs some shirts so I might order two shirts for her and get those too so i have some time today to get stuff done all right yeah but i really really need to go get some food so i will sign in with you later okay all right y'all we're headed inside the show mars okay so i'm gonna go ahead and go inside what's looking like i'm gonna head in here and order our food okay yeah beyond hummus pizza and tomatoes on your music lettuce is fine no onions okay. but um, i would like tomatoes on it tomatoes yeah okay let me and then um does it come with any sides you can make a combo base with a side and a drink and then it will be cheaper if you want if you want the combo all right let me try that yeah, I would like to get the, the sides. What would you like for sides? We have all of them. We also have fried okra, salad, mm -hmm. mac and cheese. Ah. We have a lot of sides. Yeah. Yes. Um, you buy potato. Mm -hmm. Even you can have a soup if you want. I see that. Um, I'm trying to be healthy, but I want to get some fries. Okay. <laughs> then, then we have to break it. I'll break it up a little yeah. bit. <laughs> something to drink. Um, to drink, we have lemonade, sweet tea, and sweet tea. Let's try the lemonade. Lemonade, perfect. I don't have ginger ale. I don't have ginger ale, do you? You don't want ginger ale? Ginger ale? Uh, no, we don't have that. Lemonade is fine. Thank okay. you. It's gonna be 14 and 38. Do you need napkins, utensils? Napkins, please. Mm -hmm. Only napkins. Um, just a few is fine. A few napkins. Okay, please. It's gonna be fifteen dollars and eighty eight cents. All right. Basically, what you're seeing is I'm still waiting for my food. We're inside the place. Okay, we're in Show Mars. I'm waiting for my food. So while I'm waiting, I'm actually gonna place an order. I'm ordering two shirts for my client and i'm going to complete the order so i actually gave her an idea she was going to do two black with white writing with her logo and her qr code but i suggested white with black writing and black with white writing so she'll have two different version variations of it she wants to go with that i'm going to get her one black 
one white, both in large in the women's. If it's men, she needed a medium. So they do have these in stock. I'm going to complete the order. And I also have to select my pickup time. And I have to put in here um, what time I'll be there to pick it up. It says, please allow three hours for processing orders. Yes. Well, thank you so much. Have a great day. All right, you too. Thank you. All right, so we're going to go ahead and place this order. And I'm just going to put in here B, G, A, B, clothing. All right. They know who that is when I come in and hit complete order. And it should go through. And this is my order detail. Thank you for your order. This is my confirmation number. And your order details, all right? So this is what you do when you um, basically have your EIN number. You can register with um, a manufacturer or a wholesaler. And once you register your EIN number, with them, they'll let you know if it's been approved. If it's been approved, then they'll go ahead and let you start placing orders so that if you need uh, shirts or whatever, you can get those anytime during their business hours. All right, so now I'm actually going to go to the um, to the park, and we're going to head over to the park, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to eat my food, and then I'm going to try to shoot a video while we're out here and take advantage of this weather. And then um, after that, we're going to pick up the ink and then we're going to go pick up the shirts and everything we need for the printing for later on. So y'all, yeah, this is the behind the scenes footage of yours truly, Brown Girls are Beautiful. Life as a realtor, life as a business owner, okay? So you, always, you will always have ways to make money when you have several streams of income. So this is what I always suggest to people. Not only do I, you know, sell my own products and merchandise which is great but I also print for other people so that's another stream and then of course you know real estate is there and then when that fluctuates you still know that you have other things going on um, along with a notary license okay um, so we need to actually get that more populated um, so once I start doing that more consistently, maybe I'll show you some footage about that, okay? And then um, we'll go from there. But right now, y'all, I actually need to head on over here to the park for y'all, okay? Put my, my glasses back on. It's actually the, it says that it's 68 today. I'm not sure if that's accurate, but we'll see. All right, so shown you this park before um so i don't know if it's going to be a whole lot of people out here but considering the weather is nice um it looks like people are turning in here from what i can see it is in the middle of the day it's around 1 45 p.m or 1 40 p.m so i don't know if a lot of people has gotten off from work yet so we're gonna head on in here and look at those beautiful y'all cherry blossom trees i love those if i'm not able to actually get all the footage that i need because i don't have i don't have that much space on my memory card so i have to keep my video short then um i'm going to try to time it to where i don't run out of space while i'm filming the video i might have to record on um my iphone one of my iphones so and then i also do have this but i know on here the for some reason the um sound comes in and out that's what i don't like um about the gopro and this is not the newest one this is the gopro 9 okay um now you can get i think the gopro max or something like that which i like this one better because i like how more durable it looks they actually they have a soccer field you've seen this park before so i'm not going to bore you with all of the details but I will find a space back here and um, and then we'll go from there y'all so it looks like this park has been pretty busy recently because they do have these cones sectioning this area off and this is just so that people can 
go out here in an orderly fashion and I guess not have a whole lot of discrepancy while they're trying to maneuver through the parking lot, y'all. Because you know how it can be when everybody is on a mission, okay? So we're just going to go through here. All right. This lady looks like she's on her lunch break. She still has her badge on. All right, and I could... Uh, All right. I'm going to park. Let me go over here. Okay, I'm gonna park over here. So right on over here. I'm gonna park. Decided I was. I decided I wanted to show you the food. So this is a hummus burger. It's a Beyond, I think it's a Beyond Burger or something like that with hummus. And I did get fries. I was not being healthy when I got the fries. But y'all, sometimes you just, I know I got to do better. I know I got to do better, y'all. So please forgive me. But yes, this is what I'm, I'm having. I don't know if she put any ketchup in the bag. But that's okay because we have plenty of packets already in, in the vehicle. And I carry them around with me. So I always have ketchup, y'all. And um, so I'm gonna go ahead and eat. All right, now, I'm not gonna have y'all all up in my face while I eat, but their food is pretty good. If you've never had Shomars, if you ever get to see, visit a Shomars, check them out, I think you'll like them. Um, I was going to get the fish, but I decided not to get the fish. So as you can clearly see, I got something totally different. Should have probably gotten the fish, but I'm probably going to eat the hummus burger later. I'm going to eat some of the fries now because they're going to probably get soggy. Because um, I'm not going straight to the house. And they will fill me up because it's starch, unfortunately, which is not good at all for us or me. I'm not supposed to have starch at all. But um, anyway, I'm going to sign out and I'll check in with you in a minute. Better, y'all. Feeling a whole lot better now that the tummy has gotten some food in it so we're gonna go through the park and um i'm gonna work on this video so y'all you've seen all of this footage before on this channel so no need to inundate you with it all over again just people out enjoying their day taking a stroll so I'm going to find a place that I want to set up my camera where it's not <clears throat> overexposed in the sunlight, but that this setting is just right. And I'm going to do my video, y'all. And I can't worry about who's around and what they're thinking and all of that. Okay. I'm out here. Something told me to bring a different pair of shoes, but these are not bad i mean they're not uncomfortable but they're not ideal for walking in the park either so i think this is a trash can to throw this away pick up your litter all right so we're walking along and taking the scenic route <clears throat> i'll check in with y'all later i don't really have much to talk about you know <laughs> so let's gonna try to see the beautiful setting okay. oh my god y'all there's a freaking snake right here right here oh my god I can't stand oh my god Luckily, I spotted it before it spotted me. And I know it's small, but that thing needs to be murdered. Okay? I can't stand nasty looking reptiles. Oh, I can't stand it. Oh, my God. Y'all remember one day we were at the park, right? <laughs> and my mother was there. And we ended up running to, into her at the park, right? So, For a couple days, but when I came back to the car... There was a note attached to my car written in marker she said that she saw a snake at the park i think she was like be careful 
she was like she left be safe and she didn't return to the park for months because I think it was like in May when that happened when she saw that snake slithering oh my god oh my god I can't stand them I cannot mm, 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 mm. nature y'all nature see I don't I don't I don't do snakes I don't do possums I don't do all them little nasty critters I don't do it and I know you're like oh we have two kitty cats I don't care I can't stand reptiles oh oh my god oh it's just probably more of them lurking somewhere y'all mm -mm -mm -mm. just calm my nerves because it's gonna be okay mm -mm -mm -mm. <sighs> so the tree has tumbled over back here y'all I remember last time I was at this park um, <clears throat> my mother was with me and during this day they had a lot of people at the park right and as you walk through the park, you'll find people having barbecues, people are on skates, people are in, in hammocks, people are having birthday parties, uh, rollerblading, skateboarding, walking their dogs, kids have bubbles. This young lady decided that she wanted to have a snake wrapped around her arm. So she was sitting on the park bench and when we saw that snake wrapped around her arm, both of us hesitated we both stopped in our tracks right and then we just stopped we would go no further she was not trying to walk past that woman on the park bitch and neither was I that's how bad it was for both of us we both gathered up our courage to uh, continue down the sidewalk and continue to go on our journey y'all but nature of the story is i don't do snakes and neither does she all right look at this beautiful ambiance so we're probably going to go about the same route that we went last time and if i find a spot to do my video i will but um as you can see it's pretty moderate out here at the park and you actually see a lot of interesting people a lot of interesting characters y'all at the, at the park oh i need to bring some different shoes because my left foot must be smaller than my right foot y'all and so my left shoe is slipping off a little bit that's why I'm walking funny but yeah look at the water this is the water that's what it's looking like y'all you see what I'm talking about interesting characters y'all interesting characters at the park all right hi i am finally leaving the park I ran into someone that I used to know some years ago, y'all. This this is a strange, crazy world. And then we find out that we don't live that far from one another. Like, literally right across the road from each other. Literally. That's crazy. <laughs> that is so crazy. But, um, yeah, so one thing about me, I'm a spirit that most people will never forget. And so that's the beautiful thing about it. So I'm headed out. I actually am leaving a lot later than what I anticipated. I just finished shooting my videos. I did more than one. Um, and let me just let y'all see the beautiful scenery around here, y'all. This is on the GoPro, by the way. So, so y'all know that. Okay. So beautiful today. Everybody's out enjoying the weather. Nothing wrong with that at all. I still need to go pick up the shirts. I still need to go pick up the ink. Um, 
I should still have time enough to do it. I'm gonna have to really, really um, focus. You know what I mean? So that's what I'm gonna do. Actually, y'all, pollen is starting to fall. My car is actually yellow. So look at how pretty this is. Look at that. It's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'll have to come back out here again and take some pictures and probably get a photo shoot done of myself maybe with some brown girls or beautiful stuff on yeah that's what i'm gonna have to do but yeah so leave in the park y'all leave in the park and you know hopefully this warm weather hopefully the sunlight the fresh breeze and the air will help heal this sickness is this trying to be falling upon me because i'm not for it today all right not for it at all, y'all. Whatsoever. Everyone, we're on the way to go pick up the ink. Just letting you see behind the scenes footage with your truly CEO and founder of Brown Girls and Beautiful. We're on a mission today. We're going to pick up the ink. We have to go pick up a hoodie and we need to pick up <clears throat> some t-shirts. And we also probably need to check on these ink transfers too because they want QR codes on these shirts and hoodies. So definitely have a few stops to make everyone. But like I said, it's a beautiful day. I'm just showing you what it's looking like. Okay? All right, I'll check in with y'all in a minute. All right, everyone, we are here to pick up the ink. So we're gonna go ahead and head on in here to get this ink. Y'all, I have to really bring these keys with me so I don't forget. I'm getting quite tired, y'all. I feel exhausted. And on top of it, my throat is starting to feel itchy again. I don't feel all the way right. I don't feel all the way like myself. So I'm trying to get through today. I'm trying to make sure that I do everything I need to do. So I'm going to go ahead and head on in here and pick the sink up, y'all. Oh, 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 oh. When I get to the house, I need to eat again, too. So I'm just signing this piece of paper saying that I picked up my order. For some reason, they charged me an extra $7 something about a restocking fee which um, I don't even know what that's about so that's interesting but I went ahead and paid it because I don't have time to try to figure it out right now going back and forth um, it's a little peculiar that they would do that and I don't even know what that's about just I don't like stuff like that y'all so basically my order amount doubled for no reason very very interesting Got to be careful, y'all. Got to be careful. Just make sure y'all pay attention to everything. Okay, write this off as a business expense. Oh my gosh, my throat does not feel good at all. don't i try to on my flyers I, I tell them it's a 10 shirt minimum because of all that you have to go through picking up ink picking up supplies picking up the shirt driving around gas it can be an inconvenience so a lot of times i will do like a 10 shirt minimum but because i know this person and i know these people i'm making an exception but probably you shouldn't do this like you gotta look out for your own best interest when it comes to business and charge for your time charge for your energy and effort y'all because they would do the same all right y'all about to get in this car and we're going to pick up um another hoodie just in case i still haven't heard back from my neighbor 
um, but I'm going to pick it up just so I can have it and we probably will pick up some more ink transfers just to have some in case we need them. I don't want to have to keep running in and out of the house. Um, once I'm in, I'm trying to be in. I'm not trying to come back out, y'all.